I'm live, I'm live, I'm live. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Who's around? I think it might be too late in the middle of the morning, middle of the night for um, the UK, but the States, and I'm actually in Australia. So hello from Australia. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Wait, wait, we're a bit delayed. So get okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, Belgium. Hi, Charles. <laughs> How's everybody doing? What's new? I haven't done a live in a while, I realized, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm actually backstage at The Voice here in Australia, uh, and I'm waiting to do some mentoring which I'm very excited about. But I'm looking at your comments. Let's chat, what's new? What do you guys wanna know? What's, what's happening? How are you? Are you still in Sy Sydney? Yes, I am. I am still in Sydney. Hi, Troy. Hi, Dylan. Oh, my, so many friends online. Are you doing a tour with Brian and Roger? No, I just did one. I did um, uh, Japan. We did a bunch of shows in Japan. It was so much, super fun. Hi from Mexico. Yay, Mexico. Platinum hair, thank you. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Australia until the end of April. I'm here for a minute. Um, the voice uh, taping is really fun though. I'm having a great time. And I have some great singers on my team, which is so exciting. What color are your nails today? They are this gunmetal glitter. Hi from London, Saskatchewan. Yeah, new music is coming, eventually. <laughs> Am I visiting New Zealand? No plans as of now to visit New Zealand, no. Um, I do love New Zealand though. It's great. Show us my top. Yeah, it's like a shirt. It's like a sparkly shirt. Like a sequined Hawaiian vibe. Bike ride across California. I was just looking at you in pictures of the bike ride across California back in the day with my son, Michael. I don't think I ever did that. I didn't do it. <laughs> Any solo tour? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a tour, but I will be making some appearances this summer in the States, so stay tuned for that. How's your mental health today? It's good, thank you for asking. I didn't sleep as much as I wanted to. You know when you don't get quite enough sleep? Like, I'm, I am such a vampire. I stay up so late. I'm, it's, it's, I'm sure many of you can relate. It's the fucking phone. I'm always on my phone scrolling and I can't put it down. It's like, you have to have a discipline, like it's bedtime, Adam, put yourself to bed. Um, so I didn't get quite as much sleep as I wanted, but I have some days off coming up, I'll be fine. Ask me some good questions, guys. Come on, ask me. Let's get real. <laughs> oh, yeah, got food in my teeth. That's real. <laughs> you guys can ask me some, like, weird questions if you want. How's my love life? It's great. I'm very happy with Oliver. Very happy. Oh, he's asking, who are you dating? Well, I've been with Oliver. Oliver's my partner. I've been with him for a while now, and we love each other very much. So I'm very happy. Yeah. Love is good. 
And relationships are work. I'm not going to lie. Like anybody that's been in a, a you know relationship for more than a few years knows that it's it does take work. But I feel like the work is so worth it because what you have is, you know, like having I'll just express it, like I, having this relationship in my life has done so much for me. It's given me so much emotional security and stability. And and I, I think I give that to him, too. It's just such a it's such a satisfying, beautiful thing to like be there for somebody you know any plans for future piercings or tattoos uh do you know i probably have some time to do some tattooing while i'm here in australia but i haven't figured out anything i actually want to get tattooed i need to like find some art that's exciting to me but that does sound like it would be a good thing to do down here any strange addictions my phone can't stop scrolling but that real it makes me realize that I need to do more TikToks. I I gotta be honest with you guys. I have like sort of like a, a little bit of like I'm a little weird with TikTok because I feel like if if I if I'm scrolling through I have to scroll through a lot of videos to find something that I actually really like. Like there's a lot of shit on there that just doesn't do it for me. Um and yeah, it's like I it's like I wish my algorithm would dial in a little better, but maybe I need to like go and actually like look for certain things. Maybe that would help. Um and then as far as me making stuff, I think I just got to get inspired. <laughs> Jamie, your TikToks are so unhinged. <laughs> well, yeah, last night I put a weird one up. Do you like to do crazy makeup styles? Oh, yeah, well that's the other thing. I need to do more makeup tutorials on TikTok, I think. What actually let me ask you guys, what would you like to see me do on TikTok? Like what do you think I should be creating on there? What's your favorite conspiracy? Ooh. Ooh, I heard a fun conspiracy the like a conspiracy theory the other day, but I, I don't think it's true, but I liked I liked it. I like it as a fantasy. Someone was like, oh yeah, um I heard that Biden was going to, President Biden was going to like run right till the very end and then drop out right at the last minute. And, and they were going to put in um, uh, Michelle Obama as president, which I love the idea of. Like, I love Michelle Obama. I think she's dope. Um, but I know it's probably not true because I don't think she's interested in doing that. So, um, but I thought that was like a funny one. Funny. It was all it, funny and almost like, yeah, that would be nice at this point. I do think I do think we need a woman to run the country personally. I think that would probably be a big help. I think a lot of men would probably freak out and act like little babies, but I think ultimately the job would be a lot better executed personally. That's just me. Hi from Tasmania. Hello Tasmania. All I know, the last thing I'll say about politics, all I know is that Trump is a nightmare. There's no reason to vote for him. Even if they're doing the whole bullshit thing of like saying, yeah, but Biden's old. Listen, yeah, he is. But like Trump, really? He's a criminal. He's a sociopath. <laughs> Biden's just a little tired. <laughs> I think TikTok, some more insight into the creative process once you've released local music, etc. That's a cool idea, Jamie. I like that idea. Like letting you in behind the scenes a little more to the process. Yeah, I could do that. That's probably a good idea. I like Trump. Mm, why? What's there to like? What color should I dye my hair? I was thinking green or blue. Ooh, I don't know. I think it depends on your eye color and your coloring. Last movie you watched. But do you know what I watched the other night? I rented a movie on, on the TV called um, Alice with Kiki Palmer. It was really good. Really good movie. She's amazing. She's a really good actor. I feel like she might be underrated. Like, she's a really good actress. When and why did you last have a good cry? 
I'm like really easy to make cry watching TV. I literally got, watched the Oprah special last night about weight loss drugs and got teary. <laughs> it was such a touching moment. Like Oprah got choked up too about it. Um, actually, I'll, I'll use this opportunity to talk about, I'm, I'm dropping some tea on you guys right now. I've been on Munjaro for the last, um, I think what, eight months and I've lost almost 60 pounds. Um, I feel amazing. I feel, I still eat, but I eat lighter and I eat less. And I was, I, you know, I, I wasn't officially this, but I, my, my blood sugar levels before I started the medication were borderline diabetic. I was getting like really, my blood sugar was not in a good space. Um, and that's when this came up with my doctor, we started talking about it. And, um, so I, I tried, I went on, um, Wagovi first and that gave me like the worst acid reflux. It was really, that wasn't good for me. That didn't feel comfortable. But then when I switched to Manjaro, a lot of those symptoms went away and I have hardly any side effects and I feel incredible. And I know that there, there, um, you know, there's a lot of chatter about, oh, it's, you're taking it away from diabetes patients. I mean, quite frankly, that's the pharmaceutical industry's issue, not mine. Um, they need to keep up with production. Um, I think one of the things in that Oprah special that I really liked is that they were talking about how people's relationship to food is, can be like a, like a, a mental thing. Like I, I know that growing up when I was heavier, I was eating to like, I was eating my feelings. They say like I was emotionally eating for sure. And I've had moments of that throughout my whole life. And if it's not because I'm sad it might be because I'm stressed or because you know a lot of the travel that I do around the world I'll get jet lagged and like the only thing that made me feel better was food for some reason I think it has something to do with serotonin or something but yeah I I honestly like I think that this drug is incredible and has totally changed my relationship to food I feel better I feel more confident I feel like my actual body feels better like my digestive system feels more um, regulated it's, you know, I think I was, yeah, I think I, I could, I, I, I really advocate for it. So there's, there's the tea. I gave you guys all sorts of new information. <laughs> but I also think it, one of the things in the special that I, that I really liked that they were saying is that there's no one way or one version of dieting. Like some people want to exercise all the time and eat really light. And that's good. That is really good. I'm proud of you for doing that. Some people feel that there's different ways for them to diet and exercise, but I, I, I don't think we should be judging each other on how we choose to take care of our body or address how our relationship to food is. I, I think, why is there so much judgment? Do people, are people mad that it costs so much money and so that they're, then they're upset because maybe they can't afford it and so that they're, they're, you know, the people that can't afford it, they're kind of dissing because, is it like envy? I don't, I don't really get it. I don't really get it. I don't get why there's so much negativity around it. I guess that's the question. If the drug was free, with insu- when everybody's insurance, would people be bitching about it as much? Doubtful. Um, yeah, but I feel amazing. Um, and for me personally, like being able to fit into clothes that I couldn't fit into or buy clothes that I really like, I, you know, I love clothes. So that's been really exciting. And it makes, you know, me feeling better in my own skin and feeling more confident only helps me with my work you know only motivates me more it makes me feel more excited to be seen more excited to be looked at more excited to get on stage because I feel more confident you know I feel more comfortable um and that's so that helps me so therefore it helps you guys because I'm more pumped and motivated to to make new music and to perform for you guys so it's great so it's it's affected my mental health in a really positive way too and actually I I'm spilling all the tea. I was on um, antidepressants for a while. Um, and I I actually got off of the antidepressants uh, maybe like five months ago, six months ago maybe. Like kind of, I didn't plan it accordingly, but it sort of coordinated with the time that I started this, um, the Manjaro. 
I kind of figured like we'll put one thing in my body at a time here. So I started weaning off of my um, antidepressants. So I'm off of those now and, and I feel good. And not you listen, I have occasional anxiety moments. Um, there are bad days and good days, but overall I feel good. But I, I think that that medicine is also one that can really help people. There's a lot of people out there that, that you know, are dealing with anxiety on a crippling level or dealing with depression. And it, and it is chemical, like it is a chemical thing. And I know that firsthand that having, you know, when I started the medication, just having that clarity for a minute and dialing down the anxiety and that inner voice of sabotage in your head, like it was really helpful for me. And, and now being off of it, it's like, now I can see how it is to exist in a calmer headspace. So it's like, it's almost retrained the way I see things and react to things, which is really good. Anyway, that is my rant soapbox Oprah moment. Um, you know, Oprah and I have the same birthday. So like my inner talk show host comes out sometimes. I ran into you at the queue in NYC and you're really sweet. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I wish I could touch your photo so I could see if I remember you. <laughs> Having food noise. I like that they call it food noise because that's, yeah, it's like, that's what they were talking about on the Oprah special. Like, it's like you obsess over your meals and it's, I do think it's like a, it's like an OCD type or like emotional security blanket, like food becomes this security thing, like a, like a comforting, you know? Also, like I know historically, like I, I eat when I'm bored, which I'm not doing as much, which is great. Anyway. How's Pharaoh? Pharaoh's good. He's actually with Terrence. Terrence is house sitting for me. Um, and um, he is, uh, Pharaoh's doing good. The sun is out in LA. He's sunbathing, his favorite thing to do. Would you ever perform in Winnipeg again? Or do I save gas money? I don't know. I probably would. Ooh, what's your moon sign? I'm an Aries moon. And I'm a Libra rising. And actually, I was just looking at some astrology stuff last night with Oliver on the phone, and I have four placements of Libra in my first house. Uh, including my rising sign. So I actually think like I'm very, even though I'm an Aquarius, I'm very Libra centric, I think. What's next for you and Queen, boss? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, nothing immediately speaking. There's nothing actually scheduled right now, but um, I don't think we're done. You know, I love working with those guys. Mega Man, Mega Mind. Have you guys watched Mega Mind? It's on Peacock in the states. It's really fun. I had a great time doing it. I'm there. They, they did a really interesting thing because it was a movie years ago. So they put out like a movie that's basically a sequel, and then after that, there's like a series that starts. So um, there's, I'm in it like little by little, and then I'm I'm my character kind of comes in more towards the end of the season. All that first house is creativity and beauty. Well, Libra, you know, likes the way things look. Is Oliver visiting family? Yeah, family and friends in Copenhagen. What skincare do you use? Oh, yeah, I do. Um, I really like um, that Augustinus Botter stuff. Um, it's a little pricey, but it, it does. It's really nice. Like I use the um, there's a serum. Uh, there's an eye cream. There's like a, a cream. That's what I use at night mostly. And then in the morning, they make a face oil. So I just do a little bit of that. Um, and then I'll like put on like a tinted moisturizer. Right now I'm wearing makeup because I'm going to be on TV, but um, I don't wear this much makeup just like on a normal day. 
and actually the tinted moisturizer that I'm using is one that I found a couple years ago here in Australia actually by Mecca which is like a beauty store that they have here kind of like Sephora but not uh, and they have their own brand and they have like a tinted moisturizer that just looks great What else you guys want to know? I'm I'm spitting honesty, honey. I'm ready to talk. Do you find yourself drinking less too in Manjaro? Yeah, I actually that is interesting. Like that's one of the the amazing things. But I don't drink as much. I if I go out, like back in the day, I was kind of the kind of person that like I had one drink and then I just immediately wanted another drink and another drink and another drink. I think because it controls blood sugar, it changes the way you sort of like rise and fall with alcohol. So it. You, your craving is different. Like you don't need more. Um, yeah, it's 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 been really good for alcohol too. I just I don't drink as much. We need USA tour makeup line. I know one of these days, guys. I, I definitely want to do some makeup thing. What are you drinking now? Oh, this is like a it's water with like one of those vitamin tablets in it. new album soon I'm working on music uh, I am working on music it's exciting any or Audi I have an any are you a jealous person not I'm not super jealous actually I'm not no yeah. I wouldn't consider myself a super jealous person What is this? I gotta know. It's a wet dream video. Were you wearing underwear? What? Some of you asked some really inappropriate questions. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not more sensitive, but I always laugh like some of the comments about certain things. I'm like, if you, you if this was like a, a female, you wouldn't be able to get away with like that would be an unacceptable thing to ask. But like. I don't, I don't understand why that's okay. Um, no pores. I do have a fucking filter on right now, you guys. Let's be honest. <laughs> They're referencing the AI post. Oh, yes, this AI thing. While I have you all here, I just thought I would say my piece on the AI thing. I think I think some of you might have read a little too far into it. I literally was just like I just made a piece of content on an app for my Instagram. It wasn't like an official video. It wasn't any sort of like it, it was just me messing around with an app. It was very low key. Um I think someone wrote on there like, "Oh yeah, he you know, you're safe, you're 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 robbing an artist of a job, of a commission because like there was no money to be earned by anybody there was no money I was just playing with an app um you know the whole thing with wet dream and I'm so glad you guys like it by the way it's a I really like the song too I just wanted to kind of just share it with you guys unofficially just on SoundCloud just to kind of share it because I was going to do it live at Mardi Gras um it, this is not an official release that hasn't happened yet it is part of a project that I think will come out eventually officially um, and, and yeah, so I, I saw some, some comments online too, like being like, Oh, he's not promoting it enough. I'm like, well, that's because we're not promoting it. <laughs> that's not what I'm doing with it. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's funny in this day and age with music is that we, you know, the, in the industry, we're obviously really concerned with, you know, commercial success and, you know, promotion and all that, which that's part of the business. But it's funny how much of the public has gotten sort of involved in that part of the conversation and wanting to sort of interpret certain actions and see how we're doing certain things. And, and I love that it's coming from a place of support that many of you are like, oh, we want this to do well. Like, why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening? But I think with this, this is just a case of just just enjoy the 
song if you enjoy it. You don't have to worry about the business model, model and the rollout. Like, it, 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 you don't have to worry about that. Just if you like the song, play it. <laughs> it can be as simple as that. Well, it's my new ringtone right now, so oh, that's cute. I really appreciate the support. I do. I mean, that's I I I like. I definitely um, insisted on putting it on SoundCloud because I really wanted to share it with you guys. Like I wanted you to be able to play it. Are you in Sydney now? Yes, I am in Sydney. Yes, Leanne is amazing. I love Leanne Rhymes. Um, I hadn't ever met her before before working with her on this show down here. Um, she's one of the other coaches and. She's wonderful. I really like her. She's super down to earth, really thoughtful, has a lot of depth, like really like is a very like spiritually awake person. It's she's really cool. I like her a lot. Do you know the Muffin Man? Thanks, Tanner. Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> we love you from Brazil. Thanks, Brazil. Say good day, mate. Good day, mate. Would you want to do a makeup brand or a clothing brand first? I don't know. Maybe I think makeup might make more sense initially. How many units of Botox are you on now? Oh, you cunt. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. Yes, I, I, yes, I've used Botox before. Yes. Are you mad? I'm 42 years old. Like, I want to keep this face alive and lifted, honey. And yes, I do have some vanity in me, clearly. People really be typing any thought. Yeah, they really, they really just, I always think it's funny in like, like Q and A's like this or comment sections. I'm like, you would never say that to my face. You coward. Did the Botox hurt? Yes, yeah, sometimes it hurts. Actually, now come to think of it, that person might not have meant it in a sassy way. They might just be asking. Can't tell tone of voice on here. Um, yeah, I've gotten Botox. What's going on with the wild? Good question. Um, I actually um, am no longer a part of the wild, uh, the bar in West Hollywood that I, I helped, um, that I invested in and helped design um, that we opened earlier last year. Um, just creative differences. It didn't, it wasn't working, the vibe um, in the team, um, but uh, I wish them the best of luck. Oh, and just to clear that up, um, zero creative differences with Brian and Serena. We're we're like family. I love those guys. It's yeah. It was with the other two. <laughs> Do you like Japanese food? Yes, I love sushi. Like I could eat it like daily. It seems like it was kind of not you. What does that mean? Is the musical dead? You haven't said it? no. Musical is still in play. Um, it's just the the process of of sort of creating a musical and getting everything set up. It's just a long process. So. I'm just working through that right now and also scheduling and all that. So it's definitely still in the works. The musical is still in the works. Do you believe in aliens? I don't know. Like, do I believe in like flying saucers and green men? I don't know how I, literal that question is, but I think there's got to be intelligent life outside of this planet. I mean, this, the universe is humongous. Um, 
and it's just a probability thing i think at this point like clearly coming at it from a science point of view but the the planet that we're on right now like it was like a probability of certain i'm definitely not a scientist so i don't know what i'm actually saying but then you know it was just like the right elements came together and created life like that's i just think that's bound to be the case somewhere else in the universe i don't know what that looks like or what it acts like or if it can talk or if it can communicate but if you look at all the thousands and thousands of species of animals on this planet like i can guarantee you there's something else out there Yes, I am excited for the Wicked movie. Very excited. I think that's going to be great. The cast looks really... You know, sometimes sometimes these movie musicals come out and you look at the cast and you're like, really? But I think they got the casting, like, really strong on the... I think it's going to be great. It It looks really exciting. Can't wait to see it. What kind of music are you going to sing in the future? I guess there's no genre for you. There's no genre for me? Um, yeah, I think I know what you mean. I hope. Um, yeah, I think I think genre is sort of a... It, it seems like it's such a gray area anyway these days. Like, people seem to be blending everything anyway. Um, I think I'm, I've been listening to a lot of electronic music lately. Like, a lot of dance pop and and edm stuff um you know i've always loved that kind of music i mean even before it was on american idol like the kind of music that i really listened to that was contemporary music was all like electronic music um i grew up in a house where i came to love classic rock um and loved the singing in classic rock a lot and obviously that sort of became the lane that i was in on american idol so that sort of launched my career like into that trajectory but yeah, if you like listen to like, my first album, like there's a mix for sure of pop and electronic stuff and um, and rock elements. So I feel like I've gotten to kind of go a bunch of different ways. Like Velvet kind of went the opposite way. It went sort of retro, lo-fi, like kind of earthier kind of that. I, I love I love Velvet. That era was really fun, and 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 I I still stand by that album. I feel like the pandemic sort of stole its thunder, but. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just feeling like a new zhuzh right now. Like a lot of like, I like a lot of the electronic stuff. That's where I'm kind of wanting to make things. And Wet Dreams, like a nice sort of like little appetizer into that, that style. Like I like music that makes me move. You know what I mean? No matter what, no matter what genre it is. Like I like stuff that makes me want to dance. And so that's kind of what I'm drawn to right now. Do some funk, please. I feel like I've kind of done that already. Not to say that I don't, I can't ever do it again. I mean, the best dance music is usually like a funk bass line anyway, really. In, in, you know, they're my favorite dance music anyway. So we'll see. It'll be some sort of a blend of different things. Am I a moody person? A lo- I can be a little moody, a little bit. I always try to put on like a good game face for people because... That's how I am. It's all that Libra in my first house. <laughs> Explain this left turn, please. LOL. What, which left turn? What do I need to explain? Do I need to explain anything? Can you explain what happened to your Beg for Mercy album, hun? Oh, girl. That's a long story. That was... That was a that's a very long story. Basically, I I worked on music before American Idol um, with some writers, and in order to audition for American Idol, uh, they needed assurances that that there would be no music coming out. So I made um, I had that a contract signed saying you can't do anything with this music until I give you permission, and they didn't listen to that, even though it was a signed piece of paper. So yeah, that got messy. Um, and it was like an album that was completely out of my control. It was like really rough ideas that were not very good, if I'm being honest. And 
never finished. They were like sketches basically. And they decided to take them and like finish them without any input from me. So it felt a bit off. Like you're putting my name on something that I didn't really approve. I'm talking too much about it. I shouldn't even give it any attention. It's not worth it. It's not very good. Um, original High album is my favorite. Oh, thank you. I'm really proud. I, I love that album too. It's a good one. Is that the same thing that happened to Take One? Yeah, it's similar. It's the same people. Shady bitches. Any Prince Prince song sound, sound you song? Let's work on that question. Favorite video game? Yeah, I've gotten kind of into, like, PlayStation over the last couple years. I think during the pandemic, I was so bored. I needed something to kill the time, and I, I got real... I, it's, those game, some of those games are, like, really fun. Um, I like Horizon. I like the Assassin's Creed franchise. I like... I played the Avatar game. That was pretty fun. I actually haven't totally finished it yet. What else have I played that I liked? Uh, I like those RPG sort of open world sort of fantasy type things. Like the games that I like to play, like they have to be pretty. You know what I mean? Like they have to have some sort of something beautiful about them and that's what I like. Even if they're like, you know, there's obviously like fighting and combat and stuff, which is actually really therapeutic, but but yeah. I did a lip sync cover to Loverboy for my movement class and it was the most fun I had in a while. Oh that's cute. What are your plans for Halloween? Oh, girl, that's so far away. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing for Halloween yet. Hey, Adam, I have a question in all caps. What? Any other prying minds want to know anything? Any other crazy questions? I got to go in a minute. Don't go. <laughs> well, I got one. Hi, Tyrone. Ty. Hi, Ty, Hunter. Tyrone. Ty, Tyrone. Hi. What else, guys? Anything else interesting here? What are you reading? I'm reading your comments. Oh, like book-wise? Uh, I'm actually... I should pick up a book. I should. I don't read... I used to read a lot more, but I think with internet and stuff, it's like always scrolling. It's always like quick bites of information. It's probably better for your brain to read. Thank you. It's been great to see and hear you. Would you date Freddie if you never met Oliver? What kind of question... He ain't alive, girl. I've never met Freddy. What? I'm so excited for new music. Me too. I'm very excited. All right, guys. I got to wrap this up. Um, Adam, would you ever go back to your emo days? Meaning what? Meaning the hairstyle? I don't think so. Uh, you sound different. How do I sound different? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. That's that's an odd question. That's an odd comment. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, peace. <laughs> it was good talking to you. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Lots of fun stuff coming out this year. Lots of fun things happening. Announcements to be made, you know? It's going to be good. I think you guys will enjoy everything that I'm getting up to.